All right, in this particular lesson, what we're going to be looking at is multiplying radical expressions. Um, in order to multiply radical expressions, uh, all we need to do is multiply the coefficients and multiply the radicands. Uh, one rule is that you must, must, must uh, have the same index in order to multiply radical expressions. Uh, so, for example, if you had the square root of 2, uh, times the cubed root of 5. Uh, that can't be simplified any further because they have different uh, indexes or indices. Um, also, state the restrictions on the variables um, before simplifying. Um, because as you simplify, the variables may in some cases disappear, but it's important that you simplify or you state the restrictions before you simplify uh, so that you recognize that there are some restrictions in some cases. Um, and finally, important to remember as far as restrictions go that the radicand must be greater than or equal to zero uh, if and only if the index is even. All right, so let's look at uh, three examples. In the first example, since there's no uh, variables whatsoever. There's not going to be any restrictions. This is just simply uh, an expression we can simplify. In this particular case, the indexes are the same, so we can multiply. And if we multiply the coefficients, this coefficient is technically negative 1. So it'd be negative 1 times negative 5 as the coefficient, and the cubed root of, and the radicands are 4 times 90. So that would end up being negative 5 uh, cubed root of 360. Uh, however, this is not the simplest form because there are there is a perfect cube within 360. Uh, what most of us do in this case is make a factor tree. 360 is 2 times 180, which is 2 times 90, which is 2 times 45, which is 3 times 15, which is 3 times 5. Uh, so we can see here that there's a perfect cube of 2 within this. Uh, so to simplify, this is negative 5. Uh, times the cubed root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Uh, we take out this triplet of 2 and just re-multiply 3 times 3 times 5, which is 45. Uh, so in this particular case, your coefficient is negative 5 times 2, uh, cubed root of 45, which is negative 10, cubed root of 45. And that is the simplest form. Uh, in the next example, you'll see that there is a variable. And in this case, since your index is even, uh, you can see that if I had, in each particular case of each radicand, if I had a negative value of x, then this radicand would be negative, and we cannot square root a negative. Same thing here. Uh, any negative value cubed uh, would be negative, which would make this radicand uh, negative. Uh, so let's state the restrictions. Your restriction in this particular case would be that x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Uh, now we can start simplifying. Uh, if I simplify, first of all, this, I'm just going to uh, distribute uh, the outside term. If I multiply these coefficients, I'm going to end up getting negative 2. And if I multiply the uh, radicands, I'll end up getting the square root of the number part. 6 times 2 is 12, and x times x cubed is x to the fourth. And if I distribute the outside term to 3x, uh, initially, you may, may, may think that you cannot multiply them because uh, there's absolutely no radical or radicand in the second term. Uh, but if you wanted to make it an equivalent expression with a radicand, uh, radical, you could just multiply this by the square root of 1, uh, 3x times square root 1. And now you are able to multiply these. So uh, 2 times 3x is 6x, so it'll be uh, plus 6x. And 6x times 1 is just 6x, so it would be... 6x square root 6x. Uh, in this particular case, you would think maybe you're done. These aren't like terms, so you can't collect them. They have, at the moment, different radicands. Uh, however, we can make a factor tree of 12. 12 is uh, 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3. And you can also uh, take out uh, a couple of pairs of x's from that first uh, first term. But let me just show you. So this is negative 2 square root of 2 times 2 times 3, and x to the fourth is actually 4x's. So if you like a visual of kind of how we're going to simplify this, if I put 4x's there, you can see, and then it'll be plus 6x, root 6x, which aren't, isn't going to be able to be simplified uh, whatsoever anyways. 
So in this particular case, we can take out a pair of twos as a single two. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, so we can take out that pair of twos. We can also take out two pairs of x's as two x's. Uh, so you can see that our uh, new, let me just highlight all the terms as far as our new coefficient here goes on the first term. Uh, we would have uh, negative 2 times 2 times x times x. And the only thing inside of your radical here, or your radicand, is going to be 3. Uh, and that's going to be plus 6x root 6x. So uh, if we simplify that coefficient, this would end up being negative 4x squared square root of 3 uh, plus 6x root 6x. And that is in simplest form already. Okay. Uh, in this last one, what we're going to need to do is distribute, uh, use the distributive property again, but we're going to have to do it four times. Uh, if we multiply 3 root 2 times 6 root 5, we would end up having uh, 18 root 10. If we multiply 3 root 2 times root 10, we would end up having 3 root 20. If we multiply negative 4 times 6 root 5, we have negative 24 root 5. And if we finally multiply negative 4 times root 10, we'd have negative 4 root 10. Uh, all of these are already in simplest form except for uh, the square root 20. So if I do a factor tree with that, you'll see that it is 2 times 2 times 5. So we can actually pull out uh, a pair of 2s. I'll just kind of show it. Uh, I'll do this one a little bit more quickly. You can pull out a 2 here. So we're going to be multiplying 2 times 3, and all that's left in the radicand would be 5. So this would be uh, 18 root 10 plus, in this case, 2 times 3 is 6 as a coefficient, uh, root 5, minus 24 root 5. And you'll notice that there's no restrictions because there's no variables here, minus 4 root 10. In this particular case, we have two sets of like terms, which we've looked at in a previous unit, or previous section, previous lesson. 18 root 10 minus 4 root 10s is 14 root 10s. And you'll also notice that 6 root 5s minus 24 root 5s is negative 18 root 5. And that is going to be our simplest form.